Well, it looks like Microsoft has won the battle against the FTC, at least in the preliminary injunction. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And we wanna look at this headline here from The Verge, Microsoft wins FTC fight to buy Activision Blizzard. So this basically means that the judge is allowing Microsoft to close on its Activision Blizzard acquisition. However, the FTC's case can continue. This just means that the injunction to stop the merger was denied. And we have a bit of Judge Corley's ruling here. Microsoft's acquisition of Activision has been described as the largest in tech history. It deserves scrutiny. That scrutiny has paid off. Microsoft has committed in writing, in public, and in court to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation for 10 years on parity with Xbox. It made an agreement with Nintendo to bring Call of Duty to Switch, and it entered several agreements to, for the first time, bring Activision's content to several cloud gaming services. This court's responsibility in this case is narrow. It is to decide if, notwithstanding these current circumstances, the merger should be halted, perhaps even terminated, pending resolution of the FTC administrative action. For the reasons explained, the court finds that FTC has not shown a likelihood it will prevail on its claim this particular vertical merger in this specific industry may substantially lessen competition. To the contrary, the record evidence points to more consumer access to Call of Duty and other Activision content. The motion for the preliminary injunction is therefore denied. So obviously all the work Microsoft has done with all those 10 year deals that we kind of laughed at how it's like everybody got a 10 year deal. They seem to have worked at least with this judge and Microsoft's Brad Smith has released a comment about the decision. He says, we're grateful to the court in San Francisco for this quick and thorough decision and hope other jurisdictions will continue working toward a timely resolution. As we've demonstrated consistently through this process, we are committed to working creatively and collaboratively to address regulatory concerns. Now this will let Microsoft close on this acquisition. However, they're still gonna have to kind of work around the CMA in the UK. Now, if you remember the CMA did rule to block the acquisition back in April, and is currently waiting an appeal and that will start on July 28th. And right now it's assumed that Microsoft is going to close on the deal and kind of just work around the CMA at this point. Now I'm no expert in mergers and acquisitions, so I'm not going to even speculate how they'll go about that. We'll probably find out in the coming days and weeks. Now the FTC can appeal this decision, although I don't think they're likely to succeed. But as the article in The Verge points out, the FTC didn't appeal the ruling against Meta acquiring within, so they may just abandon this case altogether. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think this is a good thing that Microsoft's acquisition of Activision Blizzard looks to be going through? And how do you think they'll get around the CMA's ruling to block the acquisition? And if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. It really does help the channel out quite a bit. I want to thank you for watching and be good.